What is good? Back here with another video. Uh, today I will be training legs up at World Gym Maitland. Got a few errands to run up there, so that's where I'll be. First things first, just how I was talking about the other day, how we have no light. Now we've got a bunch of high beams in our kitchen. Very bright, which is great. But for now, it's too bright for the morning. And I've got new protein. Mass gainer, 1,000 calories, easy. Just, just an easy way to get more, more calories in for my morning shakes. So yeah, I'll just start getting ready. I've got a few things to do, like I said, before I head to the gym, so I'll probably go there a bit later on. Again, it'll just be me training by myself, just camera on a tripod. Watch it back on the other video, I noticed this. I should probably shorten the clips a little bit, just on the same exercise, so it's not so boring. But that's pretty much it. I'll try and make it fun. I'm, like, depending how busy it is, I might do a bit of bit of talk in between, uh, between the sets, uh, but I'll see how it goes. All right, I'll see you there. I have made it to World's Gym. I love this place. Gonna take some free and a snack, because I'm hungry as, and then get into it. A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except. I haven't done conventional deadlifts in quite a while. Don't know how heavy I'll go up to. I'll try and go heavy. It's all the fun of it. Well, yeah, see how I go. And lives in a world of illusions. By thoughts, I mean specifically chatter in the skull, perpetual and compulsive repetition. I'm going to wear 140. I'll chuck a belt on for another 10. Yes, that should be good. I'm not saying that thinking is bad. Like everything else is useful in moderation. A good servant, but a bad master. And all so-called civilized peoples. I just realized actually, I put 160 on, and did three up in which it's pretty good, but that's why they felt a lot heavier. I was like, I don't remember them being this heavy, still go down 140, 75. With the real world. This is the beginning of meditation. Most of us would have rather money than tangible wealth. And a great occasion is somehow spoiled for us unless photographed. And to read about it the next day in the newspaper is oddly more fun for us than the original event. This is a disaster. For as a result of confusing the real world of nature, with mere signs, we are destroying nature. We are so tied up in our minds that we've lost our senses. Time to wake up. What is reality? Obviously, no one can say because it isn't words. It isn't material, that's just an idea. Reality is... The point cannot be explained in words.
tell you what, I am rooted. Fuck, that's hot here. Um, yeah, that was a really good leg session. Pretty sore. Did the hack squat at the end. Um, again, but like the different, the, what do you call it? The, uh, but I can't even speak. The more inclined one, because I haven't seen one of those at any time near me. Uh, so I thought I'd give that a try. And yeah, that's hard. Uh, very hard. So I'll probably, if I come here next time, I'll have another gym. Might start with that one, but there's someone on it when I got there. So, but I'm just going to drive home now. It's about 40 minutes, 50 minutes, and then have a shower, do a few things, and then I'll um, speak about a few, few goals I've got for the rest of the year and the start of next year. I'm back. Truth be told, it is actually a couple days later. I finished at the gym and then I came home and had a few things on and just completely forgot about doing an outro. Was it, I could have posted uh, without an intro, but I kind of want to uh, talk about a few things. There's a few goals that I had for the end of this year and um, sort of towards the start of the next year. So one thing I'm aiming to do is uh, compete in bodybuilding. I think I'm gonna compete around April, 2023. Wow, that sounds weird. So I'm kind of just in a bulking phase at the moment, just trying to put on as much size and strength as I can um, until I get to that sort of cutting uh, prep period beforehand. For now, it's sort of just, I guess, my social media. I'm trying to grow, but at the same time, I don't know, because one thing I've always hated about it is I, I try to not spend too much time thinking about, I try to not spend too much time worrying about it like there'll be so many times I go to post something I'm like oh will this blow up will this get views blah 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 where I just want to post it if it goes well it does if it doesn't it doesn't and then just move on just so I'm not always living in that living in the phone and living in that social media but at the same time trying to produce quality content to, to grow it because I know people nowadays say like oh everything's on Instagram you can't do this you can't go to the gym without taking a photo you can't do this blah blah it's like yeah true but that's kind of the world we live in at the moment I just want to do my best. One thing I've always wanted to be is just an, an inspiration and a motivation to other people. And I just want to be that on a larger scale, just like how you have some influencers and YouTubers now. But at the same time, I can't bring myself to fake a personality like some people do. I don't know anyone personally that does it, but you just see some people and then you see videos of them from random people in like real life and they're just completely different. It's like, I don't get how you can fake that personality and I guess they just do it for the views and all that and they just want the clout whereas I want like I said to become an inspiration and sort of become big but meaningful and actually be me like I turn on the camera I be me like I am now not trying to be some other person to go with the norms or whatever whatever people do it for so that's sort of my goal I, have, I sort of have a number figure in mind I kind of want to hit a thousand subs on YouTube that's that's a huge number, so that's by the end of the year. You know, you gotta aim high. A thousand on TikTok, I think I'm about 350 at the moment. And again, TikTok's so, you know, it takes one video to go viral and then you're done. But others just post for ages and ages and get nothing, so that's another one. And on Instagram, I wanna hit 2,000. I'm almost at 1,500 now. So that's kind of the next, next couple months to keep in mind. Like I said, I'm just gonna try and post as much as I can. If it blows up, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's just that's just how it goes. For now, everything's going pretty well. I'm just about to move to Sydney, actually. Move out of my parents' home. Uh, they're not here at the moment. Move into a little studio apartment, so I might do a little kind of tour of that, maybe, if I um, if, if all that goes well. And then I'll be changing to Gold's Gym in, in North Sydney, which I'm so stoked about. I trained there a couple of times last week, and it's just so good there. It's not that busy as well, so I'll be able to tap, bring the camera in, not get in any, anyone's way. The machines there, there's just so, oh, so much variety. And it's only like 10 minutes from my new place and I'll be closer to work. So all good things, all green flags. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that leg day. It was actually a real good one. Thinking uh, back, my legs are still a little bit sore from it. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think and definitely subscribe because I'll be trying to get some out, a video out maybe every week. The next two weeks I'm about to do a call so it might be a little... A little hit and miss if I can get one out, I will. If not, then it will just go in the next week. But I'll be trying to upload consistently as I can. Alright, thanks.